to my crafty space tour. We will get started on all the little details. And we'll start here at this Illustrated Faith Raskog cart. This top drawer is going to have all of my alphas, uh, puffy stickers, more alphas, wonky alphas, enamel dots, tippins, and paper pieces. So the two main organizing pieces I'm using here is this small mail sorter. This was at Target. Uh, this was also from Target and it's a kind of like a desk drawer or not a desk drawer, but like a desktop organizer. So the best way for me to organize and see all of the things would be to do taller things in the back. So I'm doing the wonky alphas in the back and they're kind of held back by or held up by some of my Bible mats. Taller things stack back here. I also began um, ringing these up. So like these are all of the ep epoxy pieces. Um, and I did the same thing with the enamel shapes. I'd like to try to do the same thing with these since I can't hang them by color. I just haven't decided if I'm going to organize them by shape or by color. So I'll have to see how, um, how my workflow goes, but usually by color is kind of how I roll. So it'll probably be by color. My second drawer here is basically kits and stamps. So let me show you that I have this. This is a, a bathroom drawer organizer that I also found at Target and this is holding stamps and devotionals. So there are several devotionals that I um, did not get through and want to finish at some point in my life and I won't throw them away. So those are there. And then I have all the stamps that either coordinate with those or came separately. In this back section, I have the envelopes that would come in the kits from the previous versions and all the little die cuts. So these are just the ones that I really, really, really loved and knew that I would continue using. And then in just a second, I'll pull these out and show I was finding it difficult to store the devotional kit, so I'm using the praise book and these dividing uh, pockets to store the devotionals and all of their respective pieces for the ones that I'm working on. And the same thing was happening with the print and pray stuff is that I was finding that things were very difficult to store. So I'm using these eight and a half by five and a half page protectors and I've just grouped all of the print and pray stuff together. The bottom drawer here has all of the Illustrated Faith washies that I use and the toppers so that I know the names of them. The Hobby Lobby Illustrated Faith uh, planner stuff is all in here and then I keep my six by eight paper. The six by eight paper pads and clear cuts are all down here. They fit really nicely since they're kind of large. And since we're still on Illustrated Faith, I'll share this one little tip. Uh, the Felicity Jane 12 by 12 boxes fit really nicely um, in these cubes. So I have one reserved for all my 12 by 12 pieces from Illustrated Faith. The next thing I will show you is my uh, work in progress sewing cart. So I've got my uh, sewing machine sitting right on top. And when I assembled this cart, I assembled it with the top drawer upside down. That way it was more of a stand instead of a shelf um, or a bucket. So then I have all of my notions, tools, uh, something to repair and all my threads in here. I have this little Ikea hanging basket that keeps, my pe keeps the pedal and the power cord. And then uh, inside there are all of my fabrics that I decided to keep. And this way when I go to um, sew, all I have to do is roll this over to my chair and I'm good to go. So from here, we're just gonna go uh, top to bottom, I guess would be the best. So um, I've got, of course, my record player, uh, just some fun little retro knickknacks from friends and things I found along the way. I have here my bucket of pouches. So you just never know when you're gonna need to store something or take something on the go. And I like having my pouches accessible. So I have them kind of in order from largest to smallest, and that's really helpful. This organizer here is, uh, I believe, also from Target, and I think it's for kitchen drawers, but it's going to be more like office type stuff. So I've got my label maker and tape, and I've got some mailing envelopes. Um, it'll just be more for office-y type stuff. So this also is going to store a, a, a bucket, and this has gift wrap, not gift wrap, but uh, tissue paper and gift bags. So that way, if I need a quick gift, I can just pull this out and have something ready. 
I decided on one of my favorite sayings, retro vibes only, for my light box. I have my little Power Glide transformer that I've had since I was a kid, and everybody say hello to Milton. Blanche has her own shelf, of course. Everybody say hello, Blanche. <laughs> and then I have a wire mesh little bucket. It's a, it's a file folder holder, so that's just going to hold important documents. And the wire mesh bucket is, you know, it's not very pretty. So I decided to drape my, um, my Revival Camp little badges over it just to add some color. Cute. I have here two buckets, and this is like a miscellaneous bucket for the moment. It's got some old hard drives, um, a couple of tote bags, and just some extra random things. Um, and then this one is for embroidery. So I have all of my embroidery hoops and my embroidery. My embroidery bin is a tackle box piece. It's like one of those little organizers from a tackle box. And I keep all of my embroidery threads wound up here. And of course I have multiple that have not been wound. And then this is my on the go, my little on the go pouch. So I have room for my scissors. Needles are in this padded section. And any of the threads that I'm working on for a current project go right in here. I can close it up and take it with me outside or to the couch or um, anywhere with me. It's mobile and portable. This bottom section has three uh, empty Felicity Jane boxes. I just couldn't throw them away. I used them for packing and they're super versatile. So I'm gonna hang on to them, plus they're gorgeous. And this day spring box is actually holding all of my Christmas scrapbook stuff. Here on the top is all of my art supplies. So I have a bin with pencils and um, paint brushes, all of my paints. Ooh, we're getting some shadows. And then in this bucket, I can just grab it and it has watercolors. This has watercolors and other tools like daubers and misket paint and some little fun tools like Shauna taught me how to use bubble wrap to make fun mixed media stuff. So I could take this bin down and work on mixed media. This is a kind of art related section. So I've got watercolor paper, my Golden Girls coloring book, the new Illustrated Faith planner from Dayspring and Shauna's book. Also my hot glue. My hot glue gun is a hot mess. It is in an old wipes bin, so it's got glue and dust all over the top of it, but it's in this cute box that I painted yellow. It was an olive green and I painted it yellow after I bought it from Michael's. I think this is going to be everybody's favorite section, but these are all my traveler's notebooks. So I have covers and I have some that are finished and I have some that are finished and some that are blank. So I have not organized this. I really don't know how I'm going to organize it yet, but it's in progress. I have all of my Felicity Jane stuff in this bin, or this bin, this cube, and I haven't decided on um, if this is a permanent solution or not. I just know I need to keep all the stuff together and iris cases work really well. I also use this muffin tray. I painted it white um, and I use it for being able to see embellishments well. I also use it for uh, staging product products for <laughs> project photos. And then I use these cropper hopper plastic 12 by 12 divider pockets to keep um, a couple of the current months and then um, some of the older papers and supplies for all my Felicity Jane kits. Yay! Yay! School projects and art projects for Marshall that I need to go through at some point. Thankfully, it's not too big of a pile at this point. And then my Illustrated Faith Bible Tote. Super cute! Okay, back up to the top, and this is all Ellie's studio. So I have uh, wood veneer, uh, acrylic pieces, two for the current kits, and then in here is another one of these. This is the same one that's in the Illustrated Faith, but this one is black and not brown, and I use it to store all of the tall, puffy stickers, uh, current or recent cards, cards by category, taller alphas, alpha sticker, and I store four by sixes in here. So I don't know, maybe you missed my stories from a while ago, but here I'm trying to get in here and show you. But here are the things that I use to categorize all of my three by four cards. This shelf here is all of my current projects. So here I have my current uh, 12 by 12 Project Life album. I have my Illustrated Faith Retreat six by eight album, a new six by eight personal album I have started my personal photos for my um, traveler's notebooks and six by eight personal albums are in here and then all of my weekly photos 
are in here categorized by week. If you're ever curious about my weekly baggy system, I do have a YouTube video. Um, I'm not cool enough on Instagram yet for you to be able to swipe up for anything, but just go check out my YouTube video on um, weekly project life prep. Essentially, oh, I just dropped one. Essentially, I use um, Ziploc baggies and I basically categorize them in the weeks and I use a little post-it note so that I can have the week ready to go just like this. All right, planner babes, this is your shelf. <laughs> I have three planners here. This one holds empty inserts or blank inserts. This is my faith planner and this is my regular planner. And this is my planner pouch. So all of my supplies, everything I need supply-wise is in this pouch. I have really um, pared down the things that I'm using. So it's only colored pens, some stickers, and um, just some regular tools like a pencil and eraser, um, just the basics that I need for planning. Here's a peek inside of that pouch. So, like I said, just the colored pencils that I typically use in my color scheme. And then I have different sets and collections of uh, stickers that I use most frequently. This magazine file is old and from Ikea, but it's still in good condition. So I just have a bunch of older planner stuff, different size dividers and dashboards and things that I'm just not using currently, but just don't have a chance to organize at the moment. I have an eight and a half by 11 binder here and this stores older Hello Forever planner things. So this would be stuff like um, the pocket dividers by month. The bottom shelves typically <laughs> are things I don't need as often, which makes sense, but these are things I need to go through. So I've got some boxes and some pouches and some piles of things that I need to figure out where they go. They're either new to my stash um, or I haven't figured out a great place yet. We are back up to the top and you can see my gorgeous 56 Chevy Bel Air, my dream car, and my silhouette, who is nicely covered to avoid dust, um, but I often do not use her, so, <laughs> because she's kind of been acting up and I don't really know what to do yet and I don't have time to troubleshoot, so she's up there. Uh, let's see, this shelf has a lot of binders, so let's go through what these binders are. This has 12 by 12 sticker sheets from lots of different older collections. This has my monthly tabs that I use for keeping um, report cards and art and homework and cards and things for each month that go in, that are supposed to go into Project Life. Then eight and a half by 11 page protectors, six by eight page protectors, um, Reset Girl stickers that I am going to categorize and then digital kits. I'm organizing them just like the print and pray shop stuff. Here are my two alpha buckets. So I keep a short bucket of all the short ones. And then some of these larger um, letters that just have a lot of like die cuts and stuff, I keep them in these clear CD pouches. And these are for all of my taller stickers. And I have some thickers and stuff. And when I used to keep them in a large 12 by 12 binder, I had them in page protectors. And I decided to keep them in the page protectors to keep the letters from slipping off and falling out. Since I no longer have a desk drawer, I decided to continue using this wood organizer to keep things that I would normally keep in a drawer, like extra stamps, um, erasers, staples, pencils, extra glue, post-its, clips, and things like that. This bottom drawer has three, I keep calling them drawers, they're cubes, three empty Project Life binders that I can use in the future, and all of my hand lettering stuff is in here. I have uh, extra paper and a whole set of pens and pencils that I use for hand lettering. This is my essential junk drawer at the moment. This is stuff I have not put away. It needs to be tended to. I have got so many different funky things in here. That is a work in progress as well. This is all my notebooks, uh, either empty or used. Now that we're done with the cubes, we are gonna move on to my printing station. So I'm using this TV stand from Ikea that I used to use for my TV, but I ended up taking the mesh drawers off and using them to put my printer and all of my different papers for printing. This is how I'm going to keep this area, but what I'm looking for are some drawers. Not drawers, why do I keep using drawers? I need little trays so that the paper aren't, papers aren't just sitting there all willy-nilly. I need, I need some trays to keep them in. And I also have this kitchen rack. It's like a three pack of different size um, racks for like inside of shelves and stuff. Um, or inside of cabinets. And I put my printer on top of it so that I had just a little more desk space. 
Also, a nice big 12 by 12 iris case full of things that need to be either cut up or organized into um, my paper drawers. I also have some more Illustrated Faith 12 by 12 stuff that needs to be organized and put back over where all my other illustrated faith paper is and then i have my ink for my printer here is where i'm keeping all of my embellishments in this four drawer stacker thing from michael's my embellishments are all organized by color and i keep the stash pretty small these days so i have them in color and then contrasts and i have a drawer full of miscellaneous things that just kind of get thrown in I had, I had to move some things around, so um, I'm putting some clips in the front here, and then these two bins here are things that need to be organized down in the drawers below. That's a job for another time. I'm still using my card sorter that I got from Michaels, and uh, I do need to figure out what I'm doing back here with these 6x6 six six paper pads because I have a whole stack of extra cards down here that I don't have room for. I'm still using these um, five drawer uh, cabinets to store my paper. So I've got them by color. So pink and red, yellow and orange, blue and green, browns and blacks and whites. Now we have made it to the desktop and I decided that I could put my washi all into this little drawer bin because I just don't have space on my walls to organize them on my shelves like I did before. So looks like I can't buy any more washi though. As you can tell, I'm kind of obsessed with clear drawer <laughs> organizers because it just allows me to see everything. If things are hidden, I forget about them. So this is like my go-to things that I use every single time I scrap and it's just easy to have them all corralled. So I have my red cake stand here that holds my lamp because I like it to be a little bit taller um, and my post-it note holder. And then also from Target Dollar Bins recently is this, um, I believe it's a condiment and silverware holder because I think that it has room for like knives for, well, not condiments maybe, but like things that you would take out to your, your patio table. So like silverware could go in these smaller things and then napkins or something, but I use them for all of my pens, tools, and big stamps. And we will swish over here to my stamp area. So I finally found a really great use for my fun vintage soda bottle box. I used to keep my stamps in a clear bin, actually this particular bin, but my stamp collection's growing and I can't help that. So um, I think this is a great solution. I, I can still see everything in it. I just have to kind of stand up a little bit. And this is the first time I've um, separated my stamps. I usually just separate them by size, but what I ended up doing was putting all of my alphas and number stamps separately so that I can easily get to those and also date stamps. So again, I've got four by six stamps, three by fours, alphas, dates, smaller stamps are going in these little bins, and I have a couple of wooden stamps here, and then all of my little tools, so acrylic blocks and roller stamps. I keep all of my stamp pads on this wooden spice rack. It was brown, um, but I painted it white, and I just stack them by color, and I have under here a little mesh one too with some chalk. And this has chalk, Ooh, let me grab it. Oh my goodness, I should have done this before I hit record. I've got just some smaller chalk uh, stamps in here and it just helps to keep them all together. And then I have this baby wipes. I've got this baby wipes pouch that I keep here so that when I'm stamping, I can just easily clean them and put them back. I just keep a little bit out and I dab it until it's clean. Dab. Put it back, yes, dab, mm-hmm. I have a second one of those drawer things so that I can keep all of my punches in here. Uh, this was used for my Felicity Jane stuff, but I decided it needed to be used for current other current projects and kits that I don't have a place for. The third one here has photos that I did not use, doilies and bags. This one has 12 by 12 page protectors, and this has bags and extra papers and pop dots. And the really cool thing about my desk is that it has this little extendable desk space here. So I can pull this all the way out and have all this extra desk space. 
And then if I need to pull over one of my cards, I can just push it and then I have all this extra room here. So that is a look at my new crafty space. Don't be that ickaroo. Get hip and follow through. And get your steady food. Make the joint jump like the gators do.